I wrote this poem in about half an hour. It just came out of me because I encountered a Jamaican man who in his regular everyday life has no sense of power and esteem. The character in the gate man is one that everybody knows. Yeah. He's a real character. He was given a job that gave him a sense of power and Lord, he wields that power. <laughs> I would imagine it because it is so akin to a Miss Lou poem mm -hmm. where it's completely in Jamaican dialect and it's, it's te it tells a very Jamaican story that people can, can identify with. So I guess that's why they like it so much. And because it also has a very important element of humor yeah. and people like to laugh. So I guess those are the reasons why people like it. It's not my favorite though, to be, to be frank. Mm -hmm. This is my poem called Gate Man. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. Everybody have to pass through me. Me no partial, cater, or curry favor. Everybody have to show ID. You could be manager, governor, or prime minister. Me solid more than rock. If you don't respect me and brandish your ID, the main gate going just to your lock. <laughs> me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. Me have power. Me carry weight. You know what big neck? I'm guy have to have discipline. When me and hold the front gate, we make them murmur and grumble and beg and explain and complain and wait. Make them lose them temper, cry eye water and reach work all two hours late. Woman walk on chalk line. Man get vexed and resign. Can the power have me and my bunch of key? Me not use conscience. Me not play ease up. Me not give bly. Me not cry cree. Me is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. Me teach big neck people lesson for free. Anybody pass me learn fast fast. Me don't take argument. Me only take ID. Even the nice personal management lady she, one Indian lady named Miss Lee. No, I good because she interviewed me and she gave me the bunch of key. <laughs> she come work last Thursday about morning Rocky. Oops, I left my ID. <laughs> me look upon her tough and say, oops, no enough. That now go working on Miss Lee. <laughs> She starts to and splutter and argue, then she reason, then she plea. Me just kiss my teeth and show her where the sign says, Staff must show ID. <laughs> she missed two meetings, cancelled three appointments, and go home a clarin and say her ID. <laughs> Come is a gate man, key man, watchman, security expert. People have to respect me. The big, big chairman and CEO pull up with him chauffeur in I'm Chris SUV. Yes, in picture hang on the guard house wall and yes, the place name after him. But him never have no ID. <laughs> so me give him the drill and him park up still till fight broke and save me more security interview. Me thump down two, kick down two and karate the other tree. <laughs> Come is a gate man, key man, watchman, security bad man. Nobody can stop me. It's last week them fire me. <laughs> but my teeth the bunch of key. <laughs> well, I've been dabbling ever since I was a, a child. Stuff to girls, you know. My love for you is like a pound of sugar and a teaspoon of water. Too sweet. But, you know, and girls like it, I think. <laughs> then you feel like you're home. And a bellow a blacker man. Bellow a the big ugly one. Blacker the short cute one. Get it right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a bellow that. <laughs> it happens all the while. People see me and say bellow. I bellow my partner. I do a call bellow and blacker. And they never know with Bella with Blacker. Well, my substantive training is in education. I am a trained teacher of theater arts. That's my main job. 
and I and I I started out teaching theater arts and English language and lit. But somewhere on the line, I got more involved in, in love and respect, seeing Anna more involved in intervention work at the community level, using theater arts as a vehicle for social work. So that's where everything got all crossed. I'm beginning to develop a, a bit of a an audience here. People are discovering that, that I'm here and discovering that I'm that same guy from Jamaica who can be funny and intelligent, hopefully. So I'm beginning to create a market here, and hopefully the fact though that here is a bigger market, here I can do more things, because in Jamaica, I'm very often cubbyholed into comedy, comedy, comedy. Here I can be today a poet, tomorrow comedian, next day teacher. Why is that? I guess maybe because there's a greater hunger here for things Jamaican. So whatever I bring, be it Jamaican poetry or comedy or song, it's, right. it's accepted. While in Jamaica, it's more competitive. In Jamaica, I have to work harder to, to be accepted. So outside of Jamaica, I can, I can feel like I'm the king. <laughs> and most of, most of my work is not actually done in Canada. So while I'm now based here, I still work from here all over. I'll be touring the USA a couple of weeks' time. I have gigs in Jamaica next week, so I'm constantly on the move. As I tell them, I now live in Toronto, but I don't intend to die here. I won't grow old and die here. I'll die in Jamaica. Yeah, bonafide. So I want to say in Jamaican style, big up all the cool scene, big up every yard man, every woman, every child. You don't know one of respect. Saying, yeah, Jamaican talk. Hold up. Yeah. Can you see me? Man, a bad man. That was hot. Eesh, man, is badish. Being bad is painful. I'm sorry. I'm a good man, all right? I'm a, I'm a good man. Being bad is too rough, man. So I'm like a decent gentleman in North America saying, respect, one love, keep it real here in T.O. Yeah. Bonafide. Hi.